After the larvae are 10 days old, live food larger than rotifers, called Artemia nuclei, are put into the larval tank. On average, one Artemia nuclei per 10 milliliters of water are added. At 18 days after hatching, the larvae are gradually weaned off live food and are given minced food. At this time, growth in the size of the larvae and the development of dorsal fins and tail fins are clearly apparent. The larvae are fed minced food two or three times a day until they pass the larval stage and are transformed into juvenile fish. At this point, they have a silver color and a size of one and a half centimeters. After the larvae are 40 days old, the water in the tanks is changed two and a half times daily, and the bottom is continuously cleaned of leftover food and fish waste. The juvenile of silver pomfret begin to grow, showing a rapid growth of the anal and lower tail fins at the age of 95 days. Some of the juveniles grow faster than others. As some eat more than others, so the small fish are separated from the larger ones to give the small ones a chance to grow faster. The health of the marine cultured fish requires providing a clean water source good nutrition, and controlling various physical parameters. For example, the temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen, and pH levels of the water are checked frequently, and it is also tested for ammonia concentration. Some of the juvenile fish are dissected periodically to check for and prevent different disease infections. There are three main objectives of fish health management. The first objective is to implement a disease control program for the various pathogens through prophylaxis, diagnosis, and therapy. This will lead to the achievement of maximum survival of the silver pomfret. The second objective is to conduct research that can improve and advance new methods of disease prevention and treatment. The third objective is to settle upon the convenient control methods that can cure the cultured fish and improve culture technology. Silver pomfret naturally feed on tiny living organisms like copepoda, other fish larvae and eggs, and small jellyfish. Therefore, their dietary needs differ from other marine cultured fish. The natural food for silver pomfret contains high percentages of marine oil and protein. Thus, the stomach content analysis will give the researcher a good idea of its components and their percentages. This information will help a lot in formulating an artificial diet for feeding fish in captivity. One of the important findings by Kisser's researchers is that feeding silver pomfret five times with small size meals intermittently during the daytime gave better growth and survival rates than feeding it with one large meal. One of the basic requirements for the success of the Silver Pomfret Project is to control the spawning of the females that are raised in the tanks. After the success of raising larvae to adult Silver Pomfret in the tanks until they are three years of age, the research is now focusing on providing suitable physical chemical and biological factors that contribute 
to making these fish spawn in the tanks. The failure of some fish species to spawn in captivity or in tanks is attributed to several reasons, like the type of the spawning tank, its capacity, depth, and the material it is made of. Therefore, we will be testing different types of tanks made of concrete with a depth of 4 meters and a capacity of 140 tons. Culture development of fish, like the silver pomfret, is not an easy, simple matter. Normally, the research and development of fish culture techniques takes many years and costs a great deal of money. For example, fish culture research for salmon in European countries took 18 years and at great expense before they were able to successfully raise them in tanks. Our success in growing this fish from the egg stage all the way to three years of age is a scientific accomplishment occurring for the first time in the world. The preliminary research results indicate that there is a high potential to culture silver pomfret and the dream of farming this valuable fish in Kuwait will become a reality in a few years. The interest of the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research in fish culture is a reflection of the country's desire to increase fish production by inventing modern techniques in this field. Fish culture has been internationally recognized as one of the fastest growing techniques for supplying fresh fish. This has encouraged Kuwait to invest in the culture of silver pomfret to develop this technique within its scientific community for the benefit of all mankind. The directors of the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research and the supervisors of the Silver Pomfret Culture Project were honored to meet His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, and to inform His Highness of the degree of success achieved thus far, which is a result of His Highness's encouragement and constant support of scientific research.